Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on quadratic sequences. So this is the second video on the topic, if you've not watched the first one yet, we go through a much more straightforward example in that video. Here we're going to look at finding the nth term of a quadratic sequence when a is greater than 1. So a is the coefficient of n squared in the nth term formula, a n squared plus b n plus c. So this is the generic nth term formula for a quadratic sequence. So let's look at this example here. We have to find the nth term formula for the, the following quadratic sequence. And our sequence is 4, 15, 32, 55 and 84. So let's start by rewriting uh, the sequence. We've got 4, 15, 32, 55 and 84. And as we did in the first video, we're going to find the difference between each of these terms to start with. So the difference between 4 and 15 is 11. So that's plus 11. Uh, then from 15 to 32 is plus 17. From 32 to 55 is plus 23. And from 55 to 84 is plus 29. And once again, as we did in the first video, we're going to find the secondary differences here. So that's the differences between the differences. So from plus 11 to plus 17 is a difference of plus 6. Then from 17 to 23 is plus 6 again. And we get plus 6 again. Uh, for this last part here. So, so far we're following more or less the same method as we did when a was 1. Uh, so next what we're going to do is find the value of a. So a, as before, is when we have uh, the secondary difference, which in this case is plus 6, and we divide it by 2. So that's going to give us 3. Uh, so a is equal to 3 in this sequence. Now next what we need to do is draw our table. So again I'm going to draw uh, the values of n first of all, and once again we've got 5 terms here. So let's have values of n from 1 to 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now rather than writing n squared this time, we're going to write a n squared, which in this case a is 3. So we're going to have 3n squared as the next line in the table. So n squared, uh, or n in this case is 1 for the first value in the table. So n squared is also 1. So 3n squared is 3. Now for the next one, uh, 2 squared is 4. So 3 times 4 is 12. And then uh, 3 squared is 9, 3 times 9 is 27, uh, 4 squared is 16, 4 times 16, or sorry, 3 times 16 is going to be equal to 48. And then finally, uh, 5 squared is 25, and 3 times 25 is 75. So this is our an squared column. Next, what we need to do is write the sequence un. So this is our original sequence, and this was equal to 4, 15. 32, 55, and 84. And then the last line in the table is un minus 3n squared. So this is more or less the same method as when a is 1, except we have 3n squared here rather than n squared. Uh, so un minus 3n squared is going to be the, the third line in the table minus the second line. So for the first value, it's 4 minus 3. That's 1. Then we got 15 minus 12, which is 3. 32 minus 27, that's 5. 55 minus 48 is 7. And 84 minus 75 is 9. So now this last line of the table here is a linear sequence. So uh, what we can do is work out the nth term of this linear sequence, and that will be the last part of our nth term formula. So from 1 to 3, we've got a difference of plus 2. 3 to 5 is a difference of plus 2. 5 to 7 is a difference of plus 2, and so is the difference between 7 and 9. So the difference between each term is plus 2, so that means our nth term of this sequence is going to be 2n, and it's going to be 2n plus something, or 2n minus something. Now the way we work out what that's going to be is we write the sequence 2n, which is just the 2 times table, so that's 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Now we look at the difference between these values and the values in the sequence un minus 3n squared. So the difference between 2 and 1 is 1, uh, the difference between 4 and 3 is uh, 1 again, so Essentially what we've got here is 2n minus 1. So that gives us the difference between the sequence 2n and the sequence un minus 3n squared. So now we've got all the pieces together uh, to work out what nth term of the quadratic sequence that we started with. So that's this sequence here. So we've got the value of a as 3 and we've got the bn plus c part right here. So all we do is put these together. So our nth term is going to be 3n squared plus 2n minus 1. Quadratic sequences are a skill that takes some practice, so you can do so with our online exam. 
This is available through our revision platform. And if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which you'll receive instant feedback on, so you can keep track of where you're going wrong and find out how to improve in time for your actual exam. So if you're interested, you can take the test by clicking the link below.